One way that we can preserve algae is to dry them on paper in what we call a herbarium specimen. And we can take the um, algae out and we put it on a piece of paper. It's just an acid-free piece of paper and we can arrange them in, um, in patterns that is very beautiful. It's sort of a form of art. Some people do it as a hobby. And the uh, arrangement of the specimen on the paper helps us to understand more about the morphology or the shape or appearance of the algae. So for instance, in this specimen we can see that it consists of these upright branches and then opposite branchlets coming out so they're paired along either side of a main axis. And those are some of the features that we might use to separate different species of algae. And we can uh, attach to this some notes. Uh, we often put a label on here that will have the species name, where it was collected, when it was collected, who collected it, um, and um, um, yeah, so basic information, the kind of substrate it's on, that's the other thing. And then to dry it, we just put a piece of tool. This is just to keep the specimen from sticking to the newspaper that we're going to layer on top of there um, so that it can dry. And so then we have, uh, so we have newspaper, then just a little felt blotter that goes on top, and a piece of cardboard. And then we would keep layering the specimens up, and ultimately uh, we may put them in front of a fan or we just give them time to dry. And you can do this on your own with just uh, putting a, a little bit of pressure on top with books or something heavy, rocks, something like that. And you can make your own uh, herbarium specimens that are uh, very nice, uh, beautiful pieces of art to adorn your house. But they will last in a dry state indefinitely uh, for many, many years so that they can be useful uh, long into the future. Um, scientists today use specimens that look much like this um, that may be hundreds of years old and that can be very important in natural history collections to help us understand what constitutes a particular species or what types of features a species is, supposed, uh, is described as having. And so we can compare newly collected records to um, uh, historical descriptions of species.